It was a time of great change. Communities were fighting for their lives, torn apart by the most brutal strike in history. Politicians ranted, miners fought, and photographers, they took pictures. Nineteen eighty-four is a year impossible to forget. The mines and the communities of South Wales were about to be transformed forever, and the people who'd been shaped by coal were now staring into the biggest black hole they'd ever seen. Photo Gallery, the National Centre for Photography in Wales, commissioned several acclaimed photographers to capture these dramatic changes over a 15-year period. This was to be known as the Valleys Project. There were photographs of people as they fought for survival, the architecture as it crumbled into dust, and pictures of the topography of the valleys, one of the most beautiful yet industrialised landscapes of Northern Europe. We invited two of the photographers, William Toy, and Roger Tiley to revisit their work 20 years on. William has decided to return to meet some of the people he originally photographed and to take some new digital stills today. Roger is drawn to the derelict site of Mardi Colliery, where the proud miners and their wives marched back to work at the end of the strike. Roger Tiley was born and bred in the valleys. His pictures capture the black and white, coal dust, gritty reality of the pits, the miners, and their wives. Roger has always photographed miners. He still does to this day. When I'd started the Valleys project, nobody thought that all the collieries would close. You know, there was optimism, and they thought that their, their coal mines would go on for another 10 or 20 years. Um, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. And during the Valleys project, quite a lot of the collieries started closing. And um, all of a sudden, they were all going to disappear. And as a photographer, I was trying to portray this, really. And I really want to show the youngsters as well, because they were the ones that were really going to be affected, you know, in years to come, in generations to come. There wasn't going to be any jobs anymore for them. Um, so I was trying to show that. When you look at your images, you've got your personal favourites, but at the end of the day, your images should be seen by people. And the images that get used most of all in maybe exhibitions or magazines are the ones that really become your favourite. The image of the miners walking back to work, it, it shows three men um, fronting the procession and the one gentleman is holding his fist up high. Very, very poignant moment, really, for the miners. It's a photograph that I took. Um, not, I suppose, my best visually um, impact image, but certainly one which was poignant to me in the way that I felt at the time as well. I can't think of anybody that I prefer to spend my time photographing than coal miners. They're absolutely fantastic. And that's across the world as well, in America. The coal miners have got the same sort of attitude. It must be the industry, it's hard, it, it's, you know, you need strength for it. And comradeship as well. I'm glad I did it because if you look now, the collieries have gone, they'll never be replaced and therefore it was important to record that as well.